This is a video that anybody who's got a pump-fed filter should watch very closely. So what exactly do we mean by a pump-fed filter? It's really simple. Your pump goes in your pond, your filter stands at the side, and you connect it together with a piece of hose. The pump pumps the water out, the water goes through the filter system and it drops back into your pond. At least that's the idea. But what happens if your pipe becomes detached from your filter and it's pumping all the water out of your pond straight onto the floor? Or maybe your filter's gonna get blocked up and it's gonna pour out over the side. You might be off on holiday or you might be asleep in bed. And all the time, your pump is emptying out. So wouldn't it be a good idea if we could put a switch on this pump that turned off the power when the water in the pond dropped dangerously low. It would protect the fish. We wouldn't allow the pump to take all the water out of the pond and leave the fish flapping about on the bottom. Good news is there's exactly that and it's called a float switch and they're really simple and cheap to install. Now you're not going to need much in the way of tools for this. Probably a pair of wire strippers some kind of uh, masonry drill. So the float switch has two positions, the up position and the down position. And what we're going to do is we're going to wire the pump to be on in the up position and off in the down position. So here you've got your power lead going to your pump. Obviously this one's got a plug on the end, but this will work equally well whether you're going into a plug, wiring it directly into the power supply, or even using one of those uh, footy-duddy pushpin things. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the lead, I would say about five foot from the plug. And make sure it's not plugged in when you do this. Then, we're going to strip the wires off. So, as you'd expect, you've got three wires inside this thing. You've got the live wire, which is brown. You've got the blue wire, which is neutral. And you've got this green and yellow one, which is the earth wire. How this thing works is very, very simple. On your power supply to your pump, the first two wires are basically just going to be reconnected. So they are your earth wire, it's earth to earth, and neutral to neutral. They're just going to be reconnected straight back up. And the switch is going to be run through the live wire. So here's our power supply with our plug on the end and all that we've got to do to make this thing work is we've got to connect for a start the earths together Now these Wagyu connectors do a direct wire to wire connection so the wire here is going to be connected to the wire on the other side earth to earth now we'll do the neutral, which is the blue wire. Neutral to neutral. So that leaves us with the live wire. Now the live wire is the one that's going to go through the float switch. The float switch has got three wires on it. Brown, which is live. Black, which is up. And blue, which is down. Your pump needs to have the live wire connected to the live wire on the float switch. Dead easy to do. Put my glasses on. So now we've connected the live wire 
to the pump to the live wire on the float switch. That leaves us with these two wires on the float switch. Now we've got a choice. We can either connect it to the up wire or the down wire. In this case, we want the pump to be on when we're in the up position and off when we're in the down position. So to do that, we're gonna use the black wire. We're gonna connect that black wire to the live wire that comes from our power supply. We've still got this wire here and that's got nowhere to go. That is the down wire and we don't need to use that in this case. So what I recommend that you do with that is you just slip one of these Wagyu connectors on and leave it like that. Now this arrangement here is not very safe. You certainly don't want that going in the water. So what we need to do is we need to pop it into one of these protective boxes and we need to screw it out the way somewhere firmly at the side of the pond so there's absolutely no way this can ever fall into the water. Now, if you're not 100% sure about how to wire this thing up then this handy diagram is going to help. All that you need to do with this is connect this weight onto it and what this weight does is it causes it to sink into your pond and the power comes on and as the water level drops in your pond the switch will disengage the power and your pump will stop up is on and down is off at the side of the pond you need to hold the cable and stop it from falling down why don't you just use a clip to hold it instead of standing there yeah all right Matthew. when the water level drops the float will drop and the power will go off. Or you could just cable tie it to the hose on there. Yeah, that would work as well. So there we have it, float switches. Great idea if you're doing a pump-fed filter. Cheap, easy to put in. Just remember, if you're not quite sure what you're doing, get somebody in that does. We'll leave it at that and I'll say goodbye for now from Lee at the Japanese Water Gardens.